I'm a printmaker here from Cincinnati, Ohio. So I've done an installation at the Rec Center and it's called Everything is Everything. And it's a tribute to my uh, heroes of African-American history, uh, as well as some current heroes. There are portraits in the piece and it's set up as a, a series of portraits, honestly, uh, printed on birch plywood and um, covered in um, a polyvinyl resin. So it's sort of, uh, they shine uh, kind of like hard candy. And the portraits are people like Kathy Y. Wilson, who is a local writer, maybe more known to you as a writer for the City Beach. She had a column called Your Negro Tour Guide. And she is a dear, dear friend of mine whose words continue to inspire me uh, on a daily basis. Um, I guess from there it would be really easy to talk about um, James Baldwin, who's also uh, a prominent figure in, in this piece. Uh, he, I think his image shows up a couple different times. He was a writer and an activist and very active in the 60s. Uh, Gwendolyn Brooks was a writer and an activist. Um, she also had possessed this really kind, gentle, handsome smile. To me, it just radiates joy, so I wanted to include that as well. Bell Hooks is uh, a feminist and art historian who I find very inspiring. So another portrait uh, in the piece is of Moms Mabley. She's a comedian that first got her start, I believe, in vaudeville and moved on to the Chitlin circuit, um, but then was in the 60s, uh, rose to prominence with her television appearances on the Smothers Brothers and the Sullivan, Ed Sullivan Show. She would disguise herself. She would dress up like an older person and much older than she was. And she would also like take her teeth out and tell these jokes. And so she had this, it was this trope that I think female comedians used a lot um, to sort of take away from their beauty so you could get their message. Another portrait is of Shirley Chisholm, who is the first African-American woman to run for president. Uh, another portrait is of Marsha P. Johnson. Um, she was a gay rights activist and uh, transgender woman who um, started the Stonewall Riots, which were credited for really starting the gay liberation movement. There's another portrait of Moni Love, who is a female rapper, and she was famous for a song called Moni in the Middle. Where's she at? In the middle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there are also musicians um, Maceo Parker, who is a horn player for James Brown, as well as um, Bootsy Collins. Bootsy Collins appears a number of times in this piece. He's a local musician from Cincinnati who um, started a band with his brother Catfish Collins uh, that's called The House Guest, and they ended up being James Brown's backing band. And Bootsy went on to uh, working with Parliament and Funkadelic as a bass player, and then Bootsy's rubber band, and uh, just being an all around amazing musician and human being. Also snuck into this piece um, with wearing a, uh, an African mask is Aretha Franklin. So you would never recognize that this is Aretha Franklin because I've cut her head off and uh, transformed it with an African mask but that is Aretha Franklin. And that is some of the portraits that are uh, that make up Everything is Everything. Thank you so much for joining me here for this.